Mm -hmm. Good afternoon. This is Joanne Toledo bringing another episode of Mortgage Monday. I want to introduce Dana Smith. Dana is the branch manager at Fairway Independent Mortgage Corporation. You've probably seen Dana and I in a lot of events that we do at Buckley, but uh, Dana is my number one lender partner, and I wanted to invite her here today to address some of the issues that we see going on. Today is um, February 24th, and started a new year. How's our new year going, Dana? It's going great. We just need a lot more homes. That's one of the probably my number one question that I get from customers is should I be doing a cash out refi and fixing my house up but not really being happy or should I go and and look at another property in this market so what are your thoughts on that so um, well two thoughts number one what is their what is their long-term plan is that their forever home no okay so then in the case we have a common client very recently they called and asked me what can we do to our home to get the highest amount of money back out of it in value and it's time for them to sell they're gonna start a family they want to know they've got I think it's about a five-year plan mm -hmm. so we looked at numbers and they decided that they were gonna refinance cash out and fix it up so that in five years when it's time to go they're going to be at the top of the value in their mm -hmm. neighborhood um, they live in a real popular Denver neighborhood and they got a great price for it. They've been there um, two years, mm -hmm. I think. So two years. So that was their long-term goal is to be out of it. So in that case, I would say go ahead and fix it and, and sell it. But again, talk to your team, your professionals, right? I can tell them what values will be, what the good spends are, and you can tell them, of course, how to save money on their, their mortgage. Right. Um, right now, and I'm going to refer to my, my statistics here, but we have a critically low um, inventory in Denver. Um, a couple weeks ago in the Denver Post, it was, it was, it was shocking. So in the Denver Post, uh, there was a story and our inventory is down from December of 2019 to December of 2018. Just some numbers here. Adams County was down, and this I, I can't even believe, but it was down by 46.9% their inventory wow. in, in Adams County. Um, so that means there were only 546, oh 546 homes for sale in, in Adams County. Arapahoe County, so Aurora, mostly Aurora, there's parts of Centennial, but Arapahoe County was down by 37.1%. These are huge counties. numbers. Mm -hmm. Boulder County down 11. Denver County was down 40.5%. Um, I live in Douglas County. That was down by 23%. Uh, we don't go to, to El Paso, but El Paso was down 35%. Garfield, 41%. Jefferson County was down 38%. Larimer County, 12.2%. And Mesa was down 12.3%. So really the metro counties were impacted. And so what does this mean? Do we fix it and sell mm -hmm. or what do we do? I'm going to say if your long-term goal is to be in your forever home, if you're looking to move up, now's the time to do it. Um, obviously we desperately need homes to sell mm -hmm. to these people, but with the rates, I don't know what they are every single day, but I know that we have record low rates. We do. I mean, rates, depending on credit, they're in the low threes. And um, so, yeah, I mean, it's you could get a lot more home than you have right now with the same payment or lower. Right. So, so. it's the time really to take advantage of that and mm -hmm. take your equity and move up if that's your future plan. So how does somebody, because this is a big concern, I have somebody with great credit that mm -hmm. I believe they are on their seventh contract, um, not, right. unfortunately not working with you. And I will tell you they are working with, it is one of those um, discount type of companies, mm -hmm. but how can, how can they get their <laughs> offer Good accepted? question. Good. How many? They just, their seventh one got denied yesterday or okay. Saturday. So um, obviously with the numbers the way they are, um, we typically see a big rise in people buying in the spring and summer. Mm -hmm. um, we're actually seeing them pick up now. And that's a good idea because 
we are going to be in multiple offer mm -hmm. all this competition and it's going to be driving the prices up they're going to be going over list price we're going to be very very mm -hmm. competitive um, there have been some big changes in Colorado um, through uh, Dora um, specifically about those love letters that we used to write and use so much and they worked um, but um, myself I'm I won't present them I won't accept them and they won't be they, they won't even be um, considered right now so so when I'm looking I just had this happen multiple offers it was a great house um, priced at around 350 360 price range right it's a hot market mm -hmm. and I looked at the offers and it, it, it boiled down to the buyer being able to close quicker and you know why is that important because we shrink up the amount of time that something can go wrong mm -hmm. right if we have a 45 60 day close there's a lot more time in there for for a problem mm -hmm. so that short closing time you and I closed one in 21 days remember it yep. was a multiple offer mm -hmm. um, my clients of course they got the house yep. but it was it was 21 days so you have to work with a lender like you, Dana, that knows how to get stuff done. Um, and 21 days, I mean, to me, it would make a seller feel like it's almost as good as cash. Right. Many times cash buyers, matter of fact, I think I heard statistically, those fall out more than loans do right yeah, now. they do. And they go ahead and put an offer in just to secure a property, right. they find something else. But with us, I mean, we get the loans approved before they physically right. go out and then <laughs> I got a client of mine on this weekend that got their offer, mm -hmm. multiple offers, and because right. that listing agent has worked many times with Fairway, she knew when we say we'll close it, it's, it's done. But 21 days, we're closing a condo in 21 days. And that makes the difference. Mm -hmm. Again, it's the risk. And even if it's not the highest net price to the seller, mm -hmm. that fact that they have it's closed, it's done in that short of a time frame, mm -hmm. and they can move on and do whatever they're gonna do. Mm -hmm. That means a lot. Yeah. And so um, I can't divulge everything, um, how to get these through, but we get them done. And a big part of that is your team. It's knowing how to get the, the, the buyer under contract. Yeah. It's terrible when you call them and tell them again that we didn't get it, mm -hmm. and then they cry or, you know, it's terrible, it's hard. So just getting the team set up and getting those things done ahead of time is critical and i think the lending the team that we have works really well so uh, knowing getting your plan in place how much can we afford and, and so forth so. i had a customer last year that decided to rent again because i got frustrated and now the good news is rates are lower but prices have gone up in that time mm -hmm. so it's not and she's um she is a police officer she her bot, her budget has been cut even more because the values have increased again. And again, good thing for rates have, uh, that are lower, but it's doesn't I mean, waiting you. <laughs> doesn't necessarily get you anything. Right. And I know a lot of people were going to do that, mm -hmm. and I advised every single one of them that it might not be in your best interest mm -hmm. to wait. Um, but. They so have basically, ready. now is the time. Right. They, they want to sell. Right. Now is the time to get it done. Yeah, and and the multiple offers do come in, and they are still competitive, um, but there are factors that come into play again, and just lining them up and making sense of that. So on on the buyer side, um, I sit and we go through a lot and we talk about a lot of things and moving fast. They have to be ready mm -hmm. to move fast because if you're going to think on it overnight, someone else is already writing it. So that that drives the cost up. If you really want that house, you're going to have to come up with something more creative. And, and so it's the whole picture and getting it done. But yes, right now it's only the end of February and we're seeing this happen. Mm -hmm. I mean, with those numbers, I, I just almost half Adams County is down by almost, almost half. half. Mm -hmm. So and those are pretty popular counties, um, Arapahoe County, Denver. I mean, it's big. just, the numbers are down so far. Mm -hmm. So if you're gonna sell, it's a great time. Great, I okay. agree, time to sell. All right, thank you. All right, thank you. <laughs>